Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40. And in this episode, I finally decided what am I gonna do for a seed drill? And I purchased one and I'm gonna show you, it's on the back of the tractor right here right now. I'm gonna show you what it is and just kind of go through why I did it. And all of that is to hopefully help you decide what you wanna do. Um, I'm hoping that what you're doing is thinking about going no-till with your food plots. And uh, all this information is gonna help you do that. All along, I was thinking, if you look at the video from the test that I did last year, and I'll put a link in there to look at that. I did a bunch of experiments. I used my buddy's, my farmer buddy's uh, old McCormick seed drill, and it worked great. And so I got the whole idea to go no-till using just a grain drill, not a no-till drill, because the soils here are sandy. It's very light soil. If you have rocks or clay, you can't do this. So don't 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 do what I'm talking about doing here if you have heavy soil. But if you have light soil, consider this. So what I what but what I found in the market was, you know, I've been looking for a drill for about six months now. And back when I did this initial video six months ago, I was thinking fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars would get me a you a really good used grain drill. And I, because my skills are limited, I'm not very good mechanically. I don't have the time to mess around. I don't have the time to fix stuff. Um, I needed to get a drill that was already in really good condition. And so I have been looking at uh, all the websites that all the farmers and auctions have for uh, farm equipment for a drill and getting alerts and so I've really been watching what's going on and I couldn't believe my farmer buddy and I were watching one drill about two months ago and it was initially listed for about sixteen hundred dollars but it was an auction and he and I were kind of texting back and forth and we thought you know what this thing will probably actually end up going for twenty five hundred because what's happening the price of commodities is going up right now and my farmer buddy says that means the price of equipment new and used starts going up also and so we were thinking that maybe that drill would go for about $2,500. Well, three days later, when that auction ended, that drill sold for $5,200. And it was at that point that I decided, you know what, there's, uh, there's got to be something different. And I had been made aware of this Tar River drill. This one is brand new. And this is a, a drill that I just purchased in that $3,000 range. So I was wrestling with, I can buy an old used piece of equipment or for about two to $3,000 now, or I can stretch a little bit more than I wanted to, and I can purchase a brand new, I'll say light duty drill. And so that's what I decided to do. So here it is, it's a six foot wide uh, drill. Um, it's got 10 different discs on it. So you're planting 10 rows, seven inches apart. And this, what I like about this is that it's, it's skinny. It's only about six feet wide, so you can kind of see how it lines up on the tractor. And what that allows me to do is all the trails I have around here, I can, I can drop this and I can plant in the trails um, clover or rye or whatever I want to plant in those trails so I can get around. If I was going to get a, a disc, most, or a disc, I mean a, a drill, most of those farm drills are about 10 feet wide is kind of the skinniest one that I could find on a regular basis. Once in a while, you'll find an eight footer, but then the tires are outside of that. And so all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're stacking on to in that 10 to 12 foot wide range and it's on a tongue. So it's like pulling a trailer around. So every time you need to back up, you know, you're backing up and it just, it takes a lot more time to maneuver it around. And it's too wide for what I want to do around here which is get into some micro plots, get into those trails that I kind of put in there so that the deer hopefully follow the trails past the blinds and that kind of stuff. So this is a three point hitch. You can lift it up, back up, drop it, do what you have to do, lift it up. It's very maneuverable. It's only a couple feet off of the back of the tractor. I mean, it's just, it's really good. So um, I'm not recommending this yet because I haven't used it yet. I just got it on the tractor today. It's the temperature in the soil is only about 42 or 43 degrees. So I'm just maybe in the next week or two, I'll plant some cool season stuff and drill it in and see how it goes if it's not too wet. But um, so that's kind of where I'm at. That's what I ended up doing. I will definitely do more videos once I start 
planting with it once I get a chance to use it more um, I'll get you a lot more information on if I end up liking it if I think it works um, but right now I just kind of want to do a quick update so you kind of have an idea of where I ended up so if you're in the market and you're watching um, the used equipment I, I would recommend keep doing that um, I just ran out of patience and most of what was coming up for me for what I wanted was too wide um, this is I need a lot of maneuverability so but if you have food plots that are more like traditional bigger square you know a couple of acres uh, you know keep, and you have mechanical skills and patience and time to maybe recondition them and fix them up a little bit keep waiting keep you'll find something for less money um, something will eventually come up but for me I just was it the market was going in the wrong direction and I ran out of patience because I wanted to get it done now. I figured out a way to stretch my budget. And so here it is. This is what we've got. So more information to come. Thanks for watching.